Uh, All right, well, welcome. Time to make some food. We're gonna make some French onion soup today. Super simple French onion soup. Three pounds of onions, whatever kind you want. I'm not that picky. Not sponsored. Beef and chicken broth, one box of each. There's a shadow on my face and I don't know why. Hang on, take this pan down. That's what it was. It was the frying pan. Big pot and some butter. Butter. A little bit of butter. Like Quinny says, butter. Another, we got another shadow coming from over here. Yep. Another frying pan. See, we're not, we're not that good at this. Um, and what's this, Quinn? Onion. No. Nope. Garlic. Garlic. Yes, garlic. We're probably gonna use half of it. Four or five cloves. That's really it. I am addicted to carbs, so I actually add some egg noodles to my um, French onion soup. I've done it once before, and I'm probably gonna do it again today. So, we are gonna start with the best part. Onions! Peeling a bunch of onions. Yep, a bunch. Oh. Like a whole stack. Like a whole stack. Yep, a whole stack of onions. That's I'm trying to find my knife. We'll use this little guy right here. Little guy. Yep, whole stack of onions. So what we're gonna do is we want them, cut the ends off, which by the way, yeah. I've been told if you cut the ends off, you will cry faster. I used to have to peel hundreds of onions in the restaurant business. No matter what you do, you're gonna cry. There is no secret. We used to soak them in cold water, it didn't work. If you know a secret, put it in the comments below. But we're gonna cut them in half, like that. And then we're gonna run them through the mandolin and hopefully not slice our fingers off. Yeah. Um, so that's two, that's one onion I meant ready to go. We are gonna probably time-lapse this part because this is kind of, so kind of boring, huh, Quinny? Yep. Yep. So we're gonna hit uh, stop on that camera. We are so not good at this whole recipe thing. Mm -hmm. This is kind of boring. All right, so we're gonna hit pause on the camera, send it into time-lapse, and be back after all the onions are peeled and cut and put in the pot. That's it, peel, cut, put in the pot. Oh. One more ingredient I almost forgot. It's way over here, a little olive oil. We'll, we'll come back to you when we get to that point. Bye. You didn't have to say bye, be right back. Be right back. There we go. I did exactly what I told Quinn not to do. I cut myself. It's fine. Little boo-boo, no blood got on the food, so don't panic. But we're all done. We sliced them all. You got my Band-Aid, buddy? I don't know where it is. He can't find a Band-Aid. Oh, my head's getting cut off in the screen again. Jeez. All right, he can't find a Band-Aid. We're just gonna keep going. So, we got all the onions cut. We got all the onions in the pot. Almost all the onions in the pot. Now, all the onions are in the pot. We are going to add, we're gonna, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, like that much. We're gonna add, ooh, this guy's bleeding pretty good. Um, I might have to pause and come back. We're gonna add about a half, half a stick of butter. This is not healthy, just so we all know this. And we're gonna turn the burner on very low. Like on a scale one to 10, I'm gonna go at like a two and literally let it sit for a very long time. I gotta go find a Band-Aid because this is starting to get really bad. One last thing we're gonna do before we take that little break, salt. This is, we use coarse like rock salt, like the big stuff. A little pinch of that we're gonna throw in there. We're also gonna throw in, this is important, wine. grab the sweet, wine, exactly. Grab the sweetest wine you have, so this, Mmm, so good. It's a pink Moscato, very light color pink. It's about a half a cup of a little wine in there. And technically, what I should do before I go get my Band-Aid is some garlic. Got a couple cloves here. I am not left-handed. Go with the one, two, three. Three good-sized cloves. Oh, 
Daddy, you got a fourth okay, one? Yeah, another one. I see another one right here. Uh, four. Four, five. You got a fifth one? Five. And okay. ten another. Okay, yeah, we're not worried about those. Right there. And we're gonna just put it down. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's how we get the peel off. See? See? You get the peel off, right? So that garlic's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. No more peels. Now we gotta cut it. Boom, 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 boom. Don't cut your fingers. This is 10 years of restaurant experience. Here, go slow if you have to, right? Nice and cut. There we go. A little bit of garlic. Highly recommend. One last squeeze with the knife. That squeezes all the garlic juice. Get that up there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. You like the sound effects, Quinn? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right. Now we are ready to literally put this, let it do its thing. Let it just melt away. That's it for like, this is gonna take like an hour, if not longer. You're gonna wait and just let it boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 that was another sound effect. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. We're gonna just let it cook for like an hour until those are pretty much brown, caramelized brown. And then we'll go to the broth after that. All right, we're back. We've been gone about an hour. We're on as low as we can go on our stove now. And there, I can't see a thing. Oh, they're starting to caramelize. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Come on over. Ready? Take a look. Could you see that? No? Can't tell? All right. Were you able to see the onions? Look at them. Let's see if we can pull some out. Oh, it's good. They still need more time though. We need them to get dark. Like dark dark. Like dark dark? Yeah. Okay, for the last like 20 minutes, I took the cover off, let the steam come out, and look at how dark they're getting. They're starting to look good. I even turned it up a little bit because I'm standing here. So you could do, and I made other food too, but you could do that, right? Turn it up just a tiny bit. Stand here and keep stirring, stirring, stirring. See how dark they're starting to get? A couple more minutes and then we go to the broth. All right, it's time to move on. Super dark, oh, sorry, super dark, super dark onions. As you can see, they got super dark. So now it's time to put in the one box of chicken broth or real chicken broth if you have your own, if you made some from chicken bones and stuff, you can use that. I have that stuff in the freezer, but well, how many, 32 ounces. Get that in there. Turning the stove up. A box of beef broth. Oh, I'm cutting my head off too. All right, this is really exciting. Stir, stir, stir. And I turned the heat up, but really, I'm just gonna let that simmer, simmer, simmer for another probably hour or so. And then last, like right, be right before I'm ready to eat, because I like them, I'm gonna throw a whole bag of egg noodles in this pot. That only takes three, four minutes. They soften up, they soak up all that yumminess. We put it over a bowl, cover it with bread, a little piece of bread, a little piece of cheese, and we're good to go. Man, I'm hungry. All right, it's looking good after about an hour of cooking. It tastes yummy. We're gonna bring it up to almost a boil and throw my noodles in. It's done. The noodles are done. Pasta, the pasta is al dente. It's amazing. Let's scoop it into a little bowl. But before we do that, crunchy piece of toast. It fits in the top of our bowl perfectly. We need to get a ladle, little man. What, a ladle? We, we needed a ladle. A ladle, right, we'll Scoop some of it in there. See another thing 
the noodles help with is, oh, let's just fill this right up to the top. There we go. I feel like Martha Stewart. See, the noodles will help hold the toast up. Toast. And my personal favorite Cheese. for French vanilla soup. French, I just said French vanilla soup. French onion soup, provolone cheese. Provolone cheese. Provolone cheese, and into the toaster oven we go. Toaster oven we go. Okay, it didn't really fit in our toaster oven, but it's, it's in there, let's take a look. It's just made it, it's not touching the top. We'll give it a minute. Slow-mo. Coming over, hot, hot, hot. That's hot. Whoa. Look at that. And let, let me get, let me get it. Let me put it down and get the better camera. Super cheesy, super steamy, super yummy. <laughs> okay, all joking aside, let it cool down a little before you try it. But well, it's yummy. Hit the subscribe button below. Maybe we'll do some more recipes in 2020. I don't know. You know, Are you it's just, now? I might cook now. Tyler, when the camera's on, can you not talk, please? <laughs> Silly kids. Silly, silly kids. Tyler, you want to say hi? He's coming around to say hi, I think. You just hit the button, watch some videos. There he is. Hi. So I just got word from the bedroom that Liz wants one, so we're making one for her now. Oops. Tyler, this is yummy. You should try it. No? Now it's okay, we're gonna go deliver this to Liz. <laughs>